as a gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Griffith, uh, to discuss any amendments he cares to address. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Appreciate it very much. I have amendment number 271 and 275. Both of those deal with the wild horse and burrow program. Um, I, I've always had some issues with this program because with, you know, with all the needs we have, spending millions and millions of dollars uh, on what I call our retirement homes for wild horses and wild burrows seems foolish uh, in many ways. So what Amendment 271 does is it just, it rolls it back to the 2019 level. Interestingly, the money has increased since 2019 by a large amount. It has gone up an astonishing 46% since 2019. Now, either there's a whole lot more horses, which is possible, uh, or we're doing something wrong uh, for it to be going up that fast. So BLM takes these wild horses off of the public lands. A small percentage of them are adopted out, and they try to get some of them adopted out. Uh, about 1% uh, of the money is used to try to uh, give the horses a birth control shot, usually from a helicopter. Um, it's, um, it's difficult. That being said, we then take the horses off of land because the farmers who are renting the land from the BLM don't want to have the damage caused by the horses. And remember, they're not, uh, they're not an indigenous species. They're technically an invasive species. We then move them to these retirement homes. We pay farmers uh, $2 a head for every night for about 60,000 horses uh, to keep them. And I'm not sure you can call them wild horses anymore once they're on a farm somewhere. But they're not controlled per se. And we feed them and we pay for them. And it's now $154 million a year. So that's the First Amendment just cuts it back to 2019 levels and says, all right, let's take a look at better ways to do this. The Second Amendment, and I couldn't figure this one out, and maybe the committee knew better. I understand they might. Uh, but it said that the money would be available uh, as, as long as was necessary. Uh, and I'm just putting in there September 30, 2024, because if you're actually feeding the horses or you're actually adopting the horses or you're actually giving them a birth control shot, you ought to be doing it this year, not some year in the future. Maybe that's why, maybe they've been putting it off, and maybe that's why we have more horses. I don't know. But the only explanation for the money going up is there must be a lot more horses in retirement homes that the federal government's paying for. I yield back. I think, gentlemen, without uh, going to the merits of the amendment, I will just tell them there's 20,000 of those horses in Oklahoma, many thousands of them in my district. Uh, so uh, I look at the gentleman's amendment with great personal interest.